So in this perspective, um, we're top down. This is a right side over here, right? Right skull base, this is that anterior surface. And then this is the, of the petrous bone. Here's that superior surface. You know, here's the, of course, uh, you know, the landmark I love to throw up because it's so apparent is fifth nerve as it comes up and over the petrous ridge. This is our superior petrosal sinus right here, running along that petrous ridge. This is where Meckel's cave would be. And you can see it would be V1 and V2 going into the cavernous sinus, V3 going into ovale. And um, we can see from this image, uh, the um, SCA is coming around. So let's take a quick look at that. We're just zooming in there in that cerebellar pontine angle, but from above. So we were here laterally earlier. Now we're, we're looking at this area from above um, and we can see, um, uh, we can see that fifth nerve. There it is, intradural five going to Meckel's cave. And then just uh, by it, of course, we have the superior cerebellar artery. Now, why is this worth mentioning the proximity of the two? Well, because it, it's, the, the, a conflict between these two, a so-called neurovascular conflict between these two can manifest commonly um, as trigeminal neuralgia, which I'm, I'm sure you've uh, learned about in your studies. Um, and this can require a microvascular decompression where um, the offending vessel, whether it be the SCA, the ICA, um, has transposed and moved away to stop beating on the fifth nerve. That's why patients often complain of pulsatile sensations in these cases. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.